the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's King's Legacy video, we are going to help this noob with a string fruit unlock all its powers and reach second C. So I know you've been requesting this fruit, so here we are. Are you ready guys? Okay, so we are gonna start by eating this fruit. There you go. As usual, it tastes terrible. We already unlocked one skill, the rainbow. Check it out guys. There you go. Ooh, so cool guys but before that please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more videos okay okay thank you so guys we won't be using the rainbow skill at first why because we are going to do this the I am snake quest he will ask you to find three chickens so the location of the chickens are here in the terrace of the manor next stop in the spawn point Guys, I'm just going to show it to you once, and for you, for your information, we're gonna do this for like four times. Gamer gnome, am I going to wait for the chicken to spawn? No. If you wanna make it faster, do server hop, okay? Okay, so now, when you eat or do the quest four times, you will reach level 11. I'm sure of that, guys. Level 11. And after that, you can now start defeating the clown parrots. For the stats, put it all on the power fruit. Guys, this will be kinda hard because this fruit is not for uh, AOE grinding, but we will do our best to make it easier for everyone, okay? Okay, so guys, I'm gonna show you this first. Check this out. Your first skill rainbow cannot one-hit this cloud pirate. You need to punch him, etc, etc. So I suggest that you do the chicken quest one more time. And when you reach level 12 or 13, you can now one-hit the cloud pirate. Everything will be easier. Okay, so how do you do it? Just lure, lure, okay, wait for them. Make sure that you lure them properly and use your rainbow. Boom, easy guys. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 20, okay? Level 20. Okay, there you go. So after that, you can now defeat Smokey. Again guys, comparing it to the light fruit, the magma fruit, this is kinda harder. Check it out, one hit, two hits, three hits, three hits. To defeat the smoky it's kind of hard to keep on dodging but we can manage guys so do this until you reach level 30 and after that you can now go to tashi okay so how do you defeat tashi guys easy easy first kill dodge to the side to the side attack there you go two hits three hits four hits but don't worry when you reach level 38 put all your stats in power fruit and you will unlock your second skill and it is called the twin check it out there you go guys when you cast it there you go your twin will be summoned and all your damages I think will be doubled it will be stronger I'm not sure if it's double comment it on the comment section so let's try it check that out guys two hits is enough to defeat Tashi okay okay but as you can see again the levels has a higher requirement for power fruit comparing it to other fruits okay so when you reach level 50 you can now go to the next island the pirate island there you go so we are here in the pirate island i'm gonna show you how to grind here first up you need to defeat five clown pirates lure lure and use your z skill but guys if you want to one hit it you can always use your twin okay okay so again one two there you go twin one hit you're gonna do this until you reach level 75 okay guys 75 there you go one and two okay so now when you reach level 75 you can now defeat the cloud aside from unlocking the clown quest you can now unlock yes the third skill the omega heat we're gonna test it boom there you go guys did you see the damage it's kind of high but that is with the twin boom always one almost one hit there you go okay so you're gonna defeat this until you reach level 100 but guys 109 110 it's still okay to level up here but just for the purpose of showing you the next area i'm gonna show it to you okay okay so now we are gonna still use a boat later don't worry we'll become spider-man <laughs> okay now next stop the soldier island you need to defeat six commanders at level 100 so first you need to use omega heat one hit guys one hit 
floor. Okay. At first, rainbow is not enough. If your level is still kind of low, you need to put more on your uh, power fruit. But that's fine, guys. Check this out. If you lure them and use your twin, you can one-hit these commanders. Boom. You're gonna do this until you reach level 120, okay? 120. 120, you can now start defeating the captain. Guys, you can one-hit uh, delete this mob if you have the twin. I'm going to show it to you. And when you reach level 123 or 225, you can unlock the next skill. Don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, the Sonic Cut. Let's show it to them. There you go, guys. Okay, so when you reach level 145, you can now start defeating the Axe Hand. Okay, so you just need to use your Omega Heat. There you go, your Sonic Cut or your Rainbow. And that's enough. If you have the Twin, two hits. Again, Omega Heat. There you go, Sonic Cut. Just to make sure you use your Rainbow sometimes. Okay, so when you reach level 200, Gamer Nom 200, yes. We skipped a quest. Because I think that quest will be hard for us. We are going to start here by defeating the Karate Fishman. Check it out. Sea Skill, Omega Heat, Sonic Cut, and Rainbow. See that? Easy, guys. Easy. You're gonna do this until you reach level 230. And after that, you can now start defeating the Shark Man. In this mob, you can unlock all the skills. Are you excited? Yes, me. I'm kind of excited to show it to you. Okay, there you go. When you reach 275 can now start using the string path how does it work guys you just need to use your e but you need to keep on pushing e e e to look like spider-man <laughs> this skill is really cool in pvp etc and i hope that you can get a fruit and try it okay so next stop we don't need a boat anymore okay you can now go to the next island which is the chef island at level 300 guys 300 and start defeating the dark leg gamer is it easy yes just use your z skill and z skill again sonic cut and rainbow if you don't have the twin it's fine just use your combo omega heat sonic cut and rainbow there you go guys you're gonna do this until you reach level 350 and at 350 you can start defeating the weapon man same goes guys if you have the twin two skills if you don't have three skills okay there you go well, guys you're gonna do this until you reach level 450 we're gonna skip a quest again because again i think that quest will be hard for our fruit okay so now we're gonna start with the king of snow again combo very easy omega heat sonic cut rainbow and we're done with it okay so when you reach level 500 you can now go to the other side of this island and start defeating chopper or in this game the heavy man there you go okay so let's accept the quest boom Omega heat again same guys same combo one hit combo easy guys so we are gonna level up here until guys take note you reach 625 why gamer norm because we're gonna skip the candleman quest because uh, the quest giver is far and you will really get damage so we don't want that but before we go there you need to buy this first the observation hockey for 1.5 million belly and i'm kind of sure that you already have the money when you reach this part of the game so next up desert island again 625 we're gonna start defeating the bomb man again easy guys same as the other previous mobs or quests just use your omega heat sonic cut or rainbow and we're done you're gonna do this until you reach level 725 next up the king of sand gamer knob this mob is hard this boss is hard no Okay, remember this area, use your twin, Omega Heat, use your Soru, or go in front and use your Z skill. Again guys, Omega Heat with twin, Z skill, but Gamer Gnome, it will cool down, yes. So to make it faster, you need to use your String Path, go to the Bomb Man and defeat it fast. Fast, okay, Omega Heat, and just one skill, okay. So as you can see, the twin skill is almost uh, on cooldown. So just wait for it, chill, accept, 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 then go on top. See that guys, it's almost on cooldown, right? Okay, use your twin and use your C skill and defeat it and go to the bomb pad, okay? So you're gonna do this until you reach level 800 guys, 800. And after that, you can now go to the Sky Island. 
Is it fast? Yes, guys. It is fast, but you really need to be patient. First up, you need to defeat four Sky Soldiers to finish a quest, Omega Heat, Rainbow, and your Sonic Cut. You're gonna do this until you reach 850. And after that, go on top and start defeating the Ball Man. Okay. We're heading to the Ball Man. There you go. Okay. How do you defeat this? Same guys. Use your C skill, Z skill, or Sonic Cut. Okay? Very easy. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 900. And after that, you can now defeat the Rumble Man. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to defeat this easily. Okay? Check that out, guys. Check the distance. Okay? Here, use your C skill. And with this distance, the Rumble Man will not attack you. Easy, right? Easy. So to make things faster after the Rumble Man, go to the Ball Man, defeat it. And then again, go back to the Rumble Man. Guys, you can only defeat the Ball Man until you reach level 1050. After that, the, the experience is I will be really low. So you need to focus on defeating the Rumble Man until you reach level 1000. At 1000, you can now go to the Bubble Island. Again, we skip a quest. You can start here by defeating the leader. Guys, very easy to defeat. Twin, Omega Heat, use your Sonic Cut or your Rainbow, and we're done with this. So when you reach level 1150, you can start defeating the Pacifistas. Or, pas what do you call this? Pacista or something like that. There you go, guys. Did you see that? Use your C skill and your Z skill, and we're good. Okay? So you're gonna do this until you reach level 1250. And after that, you can now go to the final island of leveling up before we go to the second sea, which is, yes, the Lobby Island, okay? Okay, so we're heading to the Lobby Island. There you go. And in this island, you're gonna start by defeating the wolf. Is it hard for the last island before I reach second sea? No. It's very easy. If you have the twin, one combo. There you go. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 1325. At level 1325, you're gonna defeat the giraffe, okay guys? Giraffe. So here we go, giraffe again. Make sure that you, you make the distance because if you're near, this giraffe will jump on you. There you go, okay. So do this, after that, go to the wolf to make things faster because the spawn point of giraffe is kinda slow, okay? After you defeat this, that's the time that it will spawn and this leveling up will be more efficient. Okay, giraffe, wolf, giraffe, wolf. Okay, so when you reach level 1400, that is the time that you will move to your next quest, which is the Leopard. Rob Blue Sea. Guys, same goes for other quests. You're just gonna use your Omega Heat, Twin, Rainbow, or Sonic Cut. So guys, you're gonna do this until you reach level 1500, and that's it. And when you reach that, you are now going to head to the War Island to get your quest for the map. First, you need to find the Traveler in the War Island. I'm gonna show you the location. There you go. War Island. Here. The Traveler is located here. Talk to it twice. And he will mention a specific mermaid. Okay, so we are going to head to the Fishman Island or the Fish Island or the Mermaid Island. <laughs> After this one. Okay, good luck. There you go. It's kind of far. Again, be patient. So here we are in the fish land. Sorry, that's fish land. And you need to defeat this. The, the seasoned fish man. So how do you defeat this? Guys, this is a level 2000 mob. To be exact, I think it's 2200 or 2250. So how do you defeat it? Make sure that you have the distance. There you go. Use your sea skill. It will not attack you. And use your sonic cut and rainbow. There you go. So after this, yes. Keep on defeating it until you get the map. Guys, if you're asking or wondering how many times did I defeat this, I think 28 times to get the map, so it's not easy. I'm just kinda unlucky <laughs> when I tried to get the map. Okay, so after that, you need to go back to War Island, talk to the Traveler, and give him the map. And after that, he will ask you to go to the Starting Island. Yes, Starting Island. There you go. And after that, you need to talk to the Elite Pirate. And the Elite Pirate will send you to the second sea. Guys, make sure to use your Observation Hack here because there are so many Bounty Hunters in this area. There you go. Okay, so I think that will be it for this video. Again, guys, do you have requests? Comment it on the comment section. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. We are now heading to the second sea. There you go. 
And that's it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, this is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.